Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and here's my mom Ingrid. Hi. And tell them what we're making tonight, Mommy. We're going to make some lovely pizza. Pizza. We're going to do a harvest. Beautiful pizza dough. Yes. We're doing a harvest barn pizza. And I'm saying harvest barn because I got everything from harvest barn country markets in like two seconds like that. All my right. produce. I got some gorgeous soprasetta, some feta cheese, some olives, a beautiful locally made pizza Man, dough. I can't wheat. wait to try these things. Me too. Okay. <laughs> so first things first, I got these beautiful locally grown mushrooms. Now I'm going to slice up some of this. I'm going to do some of the portobello, a couple of the white ones, and a little bit of the cremini, okay? Mm -hmm. So while I'm doing that, mom's going to tell you what she's doing with the pizza dough. First, so it just comes in a nice, nicely packaged in a bag, and then it's wrapped inside. So out it comes. Look at these huge portobellos. That's going to be beautiful slices on that mm -hmm. pizza. There we go. Um, now, just to make it a little easier to roll it out, we're going to use a little bit of flour so that we don't have it all stuck to our... Uh, so I have a frying pan on my stove top with a little bit of olive oil, and I'm just going to saute my mushrooms up first. I like them not hard on my pizza or dry. This keeps them nice and moist with the olive oil in there, and it's going to cook them ahead of time. What are you doing, Mommy? I'm just um, going to press this out. Okay. Get it to a size where it'll fit into our pan. Now uh, you could make this into a circle, or you can just uh, press it into the pan. Or circle makes a square. Yes, <laughs> circle makes a square today. Um, we're gonna do it on a jelly roll pan. Yes. I think that it's gonna be. It, it's about an eight slice pizza, a round yeah. one. But I think we can push it into here and make just a couple more pieces I think for so us. Too. So everyone loves mushrooms, and we're gonna love this on here. I just want them to be tender, is all. You can use a rolling pin for this, but uh, we're gonna go rustic. We're go rustic. Mm -hmm. It'll stretch oh, out. It's, it's nice beautiful. and elastic dough. It's so nice and soft. Yeah. We're just going to uh, pull it out to the right size uh, instead of rolling it out. Yes. Yeah. Instead of using a rolling. We're going pin. rustic. It's gonna getting be all the equipment out. It's not necessary. I concur. I'm gonna use this whole portobello because it's gonna be awesome. Look at these. I know, they're enormous. I love it. Enormous. Now when you're cooking mushrooms in a saute pan, don't put salt in there at the beginning. You have to wait oh, no. until they've kind of cooked a little while to put some salt on there. I just season them with my pepper and a little bit of chili flakes. Well, and not only that, um, we're going to have uh, that sopraceta in the mm -hmm. pizza, so we won't want too much salt. No, I don't think we need it, really. And the pizza is all about the uh, cheese and the dough and the nice vegetables. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you have that lovely sauce too. Yes. Boy, okay. that harvest barn, they carry the best stuff. You have no idea lovely if you stuff. haven't been there. Lovely stuff. It's just great. Everything is so fresh. Comes from, uh, comes locally. Some wonderful, lovely vendors. They try and keep within a hundred mile radius of when they're buying local stuff so that we have everything that we need right here. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all the mushrooms I think I need. When you buy this pizza dough, you know you should buy a few at a time, keep them in your freezer, so anytime you don't feel like cooking that night, getting all the pots and pans out and so on, you just take a little disc of dough. I think so and too. And stretch it out, even the kids can do this. They'll enjoy this, getting their hands in there and Absolutely. messing around with it. Absolutely. Now I'm doing, we're doing mushrooms on it. We're doing the the uh, tomato slices. Mm -hmm. We're doing some beautiful green olives. We're gonna have some nice peppers, fresh oregano that I oh, got from yes. Harvest Farm. Fresh. Some fabulous sauce, feta cheese. I think so we'll that's all how we're this. Yeah? Just, uh, yeah. okay. Just so nothing, the cheese doesn't make it stick. Voila. Merci. Okay. Here you go. There we go. That's oh my goodness, that's lots. We like olive oil. It's okay. I'm just gonna wash. So some I got of these, these gorgeous peppers, and I think I'm gonna choose the yellow today for the pizza, mm -hmm. just to keep with the beautiful colors. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take out the the core, and then I'm gonna slice rings. I like oh, I like rings. That. Yeah. That's so pretty. Instead of chunks. Yes. I think it's prettier. I do too. So what I'm going to do too is I'm going to save these seeds because we've been getting our seedlings ready. If you haven't ready. started your seedlings yet, it's time up here in the Northern Hemisphere. We've got our seeds ready and we've done a couple shows. So check out our shows about how to start seedlings indoors for your vegetable or herb garden. 
You're gonna love those shows and they're gonna so be very So I'm just pouring it too. and getting any of the ribs out because you don't want ribs in there. Okay, I'm gonna do nice big rings. And I'm not gonna cook them ahead of time like the mushrooms are. They don't really need this. I like it like this. Me too. Nice and thin, thin as you can. If you stretch this out, you get a little hole here or there. It's no big deal. Just mm -hmm. give it a little pinch. There you go. Now, I just got off the phone with Roberto, whose dough this is from Roberto's Pizzeria in St. Catharines. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness for Harvest Barn bringing it out here. I wouldn't even have known it was available like that. Good Me stuff. Me either. And it's so, such a beautiful dough. Yes. So Roberto has instructed me that he wants me to bake this pizza at 550 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. That's a super high oven. I wouldn't have thought that it would be that high. Me That's either. fabulous. I'm wow. glad I talked to him. <laughs> I would have never guessed that. Yeah. He only uses the finest ingredients in there. I'm excited to try this. He says he uses Mediterranean sea salt and he uses really good extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm also going to do tomato slices as well because that just I'm making like some that. little indentations with my fingers just so that the, uh, the juices and stuff can kind of sink in there. You want to toss your mushrooms? I made a little ridge around the edges to hold everything in nicely. And you know, I love the crusts when they get a little bit crusty, a little bit crispy on the edges. Mm -hmm. So also, I have a little bit of olive oil left to, from what Kim gave me there. I'm just gonna brush it over here. Okay, I'm gonna do slices of tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think. I love the slices of mm -hmm. tomatoes on there. In addition to the tomato sauce. While Kim is getting the veggies ready, this dough is going to start rising a little. It had already started actually in the bag. Um, so that's good. Mm -hmm. That'll make it lighter and uh, easier to crisp up. You can see it's getting little bubbles there. It's great. So we're ready for Kim. Yes. I'm still preparing a couple things here. Okay, that's enough for tomatoes. Some peppers. The mushrooms are going. We have some mm -hmm. olives here. So let me get a couple more. Okay, these are from Jesse Tree Olives. Oh, that's and that's from so Olive Bar uh, Harvest Barn as well. It's a wonder mm. there are any left. We've been just munching on them. They're so I delicious. love olives. Really good olives on my pizza. So here's our beautiful sauce. It's from Marinelli Sauces. Oh, I can't it's wait traditional to pizza sauce. This is so tasty. And it's from right here in Niagara, uh, Niagara Falls. This is from Niagara as well. It's Niagara Food Specialties and it's Sopracetta. It's a dry salami. Fantastic resealable package and all separated by these beautiful plastic pieces. It mm -hmm. keeps it all separate. How do you want to put those on there? Whole like that? Um, maybe cut in half. Okay. So they come in these big um, oval size shaped pieces and I'm just going to cut them in half. Look how that just peels mm -hmm. off. Look how easy that is. It's like a pages mm -hmm. of books. Of book. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see through. I wouldn't be mad about it's opening so that a page up and seeing some salami. Mm. How about one more piece? Well, one piece for the chefs. Oh boy. <laughs> Here, and one for me. Let's try it so they know. Oh, it's so mm. good. Mm. It's so so delicious. Do you need more olives? Uh, I think that's enough. Mmm. Mm, mm hmm And everything I got at Harvest Barn, ready to go. This is gonna be a tasty, tasty pizza tonight. I think maybe I'll do one more. It's so crescetta. It is fantastic. It really, really is. I think we've eaten a whole sheet mm. of them. Here it's so good. With the so good. <laughs> mm. It's feta, which is also going on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are sliced in half. You can mm -hmm. do the rest of those uh, olives. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm gonna crumble up some some feta here. Check on these. Those uh, portobellos take a little while to soften up. Mm -hmm. They're nice and big. That's why I wanted to do them in the pan first. Yummy. I like to try <laughs> different cheeses, um, different meats. And oh. This is going to be great on there. And um, you know, it doesn't always have to look like a pizza looks when it comes from uh, your local pizzeria. Absolutely not. Uh, the feta cheese in there is so be creamy. Awesome. Awesome. Such a nice feta, and this comes from Harvest Barn too. Everything here comes from Harvest Barn, and it's mostly from all local places. This is the creamiest feta cheese I've ever tasted. Oh, it's fantastic. So I'm just crumbling up some. You're eyeballing. This is not an exact science. You put whatever you want on your pizza. Mm -hmm. It's almost, you could let the kids do it. I mean, it's it's not an exact I have science some at fresh, all. Fresh um, oregano, right. freshly grown oregano. Oh, Instead of basil today, we're doing that. 
which is going to be a nice touch. Do you want me to um, grate a little bit of mozzarella? I was mozzarella? just about to ask you, do we want some sure. mozzarella on there a little bit? Bottom, yeah. Just a little bit, yeah? Mm -hmm. Look at how crumbly that is. Oh, I know. It's but good. as crumbly as it is, it's equally as um, as creamy and soft. It's sweet. Oh, it's so good. Fantastic flavor. And that brine is beautiful. My mushrooms are coming along here. They're almost done. So here's mom's uh, pizza dough. I don't know if you've seen it, but this is what it looks like all pressed out and a little bit oiled up. Beautiful. And then I'm going to let mom decorate it because mom is very frou frou and likes to do that kind of thing. <laughs> So mom's going to put this Okay, so off. all of your ingredients here are ready. You can choose from what you like. And I'm just going to chop up some of these bits of oregano. In fact, I think I'll just break them apart, rip them apart. Mm -hmm. Wash some of it. You don't need a whole ton of that, those fresh oregano. Just that just beautiful hint of flavor. This is a very... Um, a concentrated uh, sauce too, so you don't, you know, you don't need to heap it on here. Mm. Just nice little taste with everything. Now, even these fresh herbs came from all, um, from Harvest Barn today, and they are locally grown too. Yeah, beautiful stuff. So fresh. Mmm, smell that. Nice. Nothing gets your taste buds going like fabulous food. <gasps> fabulous herbs, mm. sauces. Okay, I think this is good. Lovely. That's really all the sauce you need on a pizza. I don't like it soaked. You don't want it drowning in the sauce. No, but you do want a good amount. Like, don't yeah. let it be dry. That's right. not cool either. Right. Okay, so put it in the bottom. Get you some Marinelli sauce over at Harvest Barn. You're gonna Honey, love this. You're doing stuff. a gorgeous job. A bang up job. Oh, yes. <laughs> this sopraceta comes in a real sealable bag. That's so handy for people that are cooking at home. Some people like to close. put their mozzarella on top. I like it on the bottom. I, I like to see all my ingredients. I don't yeah, want to cover them too. up. They're I so pretty. Right. And I spent so much time chopping them. <laughs> Getting them just the right size. Yep. Okay, I think right. um, we'll do the mushrooms first. Okay. They're like ready here. Okay. Do you want me just to dump them and then you can sure. move them around? Yes. Okay. That'll be fine. So these are just done with some pepper, some chili flakes, a little bit of salt at the end, olive oil. Mm -hmm. mm, that's Move those around. Delicious. This could actually oh, just boy. be all you put on your pizza if you so desire. Oh yes. In fact, you could just do cheese and oregano. Well, right? Roberto, mm -hmm. I called him right away when I saw that it was actually Roberto's pizza dough. Uh -huh. I called him up and he told me to bake it at 550 degrees. Wow. Yep. That's for hot. 12 to 15 <laughs> minutes. So I'm going to preheat my oven now because it looks like we'll be ready by the time it next go our rings. Okay. Okay, they're pretty. Tomatoes next. Here's some nice thinly sliced tomatoes. I think the extra tomato, just in a different way, is a very nice addition. Mm -hmm. Dad really Me likes too. it like that. Me too. I think it's lovely. He always said, well, my husband always wanted the tomato slices on top. It's pretty <laughs> already. Nice. Okay, so <laughs> Mom's got, she's got the tomatoes inside the rings of the peppers. Mom's a decorator. <laughs> Now the sopraceta, that's going to get all nice and crispy in the oven, I, I reckon. I love having yes. two people going at once because someone can be cleaning <laughs> and putting things away. Yeah. I think that's about the worst part of, uh, not that anything is bad about cooking, but um, when you're preparing food, I think the most unpleasant part of it is putting the uh, ingredients away and doing the dishes. Oh, the dishes. Cleaning up all the dirty pots and pans that are tend to accumulate when you're um, cooking. Rather uncool to have yeah. to do all of it yeah. at the same time. Um, I just have some of these beautiful chili flakes ready to go for mom and I'm going to crack up some freshly cracked black pepper because we like pepper in everything. Oh, so, I love this fresh ground pepper. That so I'm just going to so, do chunks. So delicious. I'm not actually grinding it, I'm just chunking it. And I like right for the uh, meat the uh, meat to be exposed to the heat. I don't like to cover my meat. So where there's meat, I don't really like to put a lot of stuff on top of it. So it gets nice and crunchy and crispy. Think yeah. outside the box with the meats for your pizza. You don't have to do pepperoni. No, no, not at all. You could even put steak on your pizza. You could put steak on it. You could put maple sugar ham on it. You yeah. could do whatever you want. Back bacon. Yeah, love it. Pork chop. You could just cut up mm. the pork chop meat. Chicken last breast. Supper, last night's supper. 
cut up that pork chop meat and put it on there. It's good. Chicken breast even? Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna just quickly go over it with the chili okay. flakes. Mm -hmm. And the oregano. Or we'll put go that, that on last. You can do whatever you like. Yeah, I think we'll put that. So a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna have a sprinkling of this beautiful feta cheese. This is a killer pizza. Look at that. <laughs> the only thing I didn't get at Harvest Barn was my, my mozzarella today. But they had mozzarella there. I just already had some at home. You gonna throw that some oregano on? Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm gonna put it on top of the mozzarella. Though. Okay, so we're just sprinkling a tiny bit of yeah, mozzarella. Not on the top. much. We don't want to cover up all our pretty no, ingredients. No. no, we just want a little bit on the top. A little sprinkling. Lovely. Now hit hit mm -hmm. it up with all that oregano. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Look at this pizza. It smells and so good. The pièce de résistance mm. is a little bit of that wonderful olive oil. Yes, ma'am. Now this is also from um, Harvest Barn. It comes straight from Italy. It is the best. It's been awarded the best extra virgin olive oil in the world. Yeah. And they're not kidding. It's called oh. Olio Quattrociocci, I think. It's beautiful. It's so tasty. Oh. Now you want to use this as a finishing thing. You can do it at the end, but I'm gonna put just a little bit on now. Just drizzle over mm -hmm. top some nice olive oil. Oh, look at that. Look at oh. that pizza. Oh, oh that olive oil. Fit for is a good. king. Mm -hmm. Now look at that. It's heavy. Well, that's yes. a heavy pizza. We've got a lot of food on there. Oh, that's a harvest barn pizza. Now this is gonna go in the oven. It in doesn't a couple get minutes. much better than that. I don't think so. No. A couple minutes it'll be preheated and we'll be right back. You know, back. pizza yeah. is really a very nutritious meal for children. Yeah, it's really. Calcium and it's yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the vegetables they may not even vegetables. you know complain about eating vegetables, but for some reason you can disguise almost anything in a pizza. Mm. They just care about the cheese. The cheese is <laughs> most important to kids. The cheese for sure. Yeah. To me, my favorite thing about it is a really good crust. And me too. The crust and the sauce. Yes. To me, that's the toppings are like extraneous, and not that I don't like them, but to me, a good pizza is indicated by a good crust and good sauce. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, right, our oven right is back. up to heat. It's on convection at 550 degrees. It's mm -hmm. blazing. Okay, into the oven it goes. It's going to go for 12 to 15 minutes, but I'm going to check it at maybe eight or ten to make sure everything's okay and right. nothing crazy's going on. So in it goes. Look at that. Look oh, at this good. pizza bubbling and. You look at this. Sizzling away. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous pizza. Oh man. Woo wee. That is beautiful, Kim. That took um, 12 minutes. I pro we probably could have gone maybe even a minute less. So start looking at it around 10. Oh, it smells so good. Yes, it does. So we're gonna transfer it. Yeah, it's still too hot to move. I well, I'm just gonna see, make sure that it's not, it's not sticking no. either. It's beautiful. So we're good here. We're gonna let this cool for a minute or two. And then we're going to transfer it over so we can cut it. Mm -hmm. You don't ever want to scrape your good non-stick yeah. hands. Sometimes they're not so non-stick. No. <laughs> this is a brand new jelly roll yeah. pan though, so we're good. Yeah. I can't wait to have a corner piece. Oh, me too. Yeah. I want this one right here. Yes? Yeah. Oh, I like it when it has a little bit of toast Oh, on. I love it. I can't wait. In fact, it'd be good served with extra sauce. Oh, this yes. Okay, we're going to transfer this. All right. Beautiful. Now, we have the mezzaluna to make things way easier for us all. I'm going to probably make 12 pieces. Mm. Ugh. And this is a whole wheat crust. How cool Look is at that? the toppings, Mom. Oh, it's gorgeous it's and crunchy. It crunchy. is. I hear it crunchy. Well, what piece do you want? This piece? Mm -hmm. Have your eye on it. Mm -hmm. Look at this pizza, guys. Gorgeous. Come on now. That's a fantastic family meal for midweek. You don't have to order out. You can just make it in. Let me show you this piece. Now I've got a little piece of everything, a little bit of soppressata, the, the olives, the peppers, the tomatoes, the feta, beautiful olive oil on the top, that fresh oregano. This is a killer pizza. It's hot. Mmm. <laughs> mm. That's delicious. Mmm. The peppers are just perfectly mm -hmm. done. Mmm. And a little bit charred on the top. Mm-hmm. The mushrooms are perfectly done. If right. we would have just put them on there raw and left them, it would have been a problem. That mm -hmm. is so good. Oh, mmm. And the crust is really good. Mm -hmm. I would never mm -hmm. know that's a whole wheat crust if someone just fed it to me. 
That's a great, mm. great pizza. This is a Harvest Barn pizza. Everything bought at my local Harvest Barn. There's two locations. One is in St. Catharines. One is in Niagara-on-the-Lake. That's how you do it. Mmm. That fat's mm. not even melted. Uh-huh. Mmm. Oh, the vegetables good. are perfectly cooked through. That pepper, even though it was looked so thick, mm -hmm. that 550-degree oven did wonders. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was right to do it on a hot, such a high heat. Mmm. I wouldn't have thought so, but it was very effective. Look at the bottom. It's mm. all nice and brown. Mm -hmm. Every bit of it is cooked like it's just perfect. Usually when you do pizza and you do it at a lower temperature, the top and the sides will get nice and crunchy, but the bottom will be all soggy and stuff. Yeah, this no, one's cool. Even, listen, you can hear it. Yep. Tap it. Nice. Mm. Mm. Cheers, Mom. Great job. Mm. Anyhow, good pizza. That's how you do it. Check out more about mm. Harvest Barn at harvestbarn.ca. They have everything fresh and local and delicious and foodie-esque. Mm. Go get go get some stuff there. You'll love it. Perfect for coming home. Appetizers for Mother's Day or Cinco de Mayo. Mm. Just grab some quick stuff. Fresh stuff is the best anyway. Yeah. Right? We're having pizza tonight. Come on over. <laughs> Come on over, man. <laughs> Anyhow, check out Mom's website at IngridTurnerToday.com. Follow me on Twitter mm. at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly and YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And my site is Cooking with Kimberly.com. We're ready to eat. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Uh, oh, Mommy. Awesome, Kim. Good awesome. job.